हेलो व्यूअर्स वेलकम टू अनदर सेशन ऑफ माय फार्मेकोलॉजी सीरीज सो टुडे आई विल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट द ड्रग्स एक्टिंग ऑन द यूटरस सो द ड्रग्स एक्टिंग ऑन द यूटरस द आई हैव पर्टिकुलरली फोकस्ड ऑन द क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ द ड्रग्स व्हिच आर गोइंग टू एक्ट ऑन द यूटरस एंड आई हैव मेड द निमोनिक्स so as to very easily remember as to what are the drugs which are going to act on the uterus so the drugs acting on the uterus can be broadly classified into two broad categories that is the drugs that this that is the stimulant or the oxytocin and the second are the relaxants or the tocolytics so viewers the mnemonic or the short trick what i have made just to easily remember about the drugs what are going to act on the uterus can be better remembered if we just look at the the mnemonic or the short trick what i have made for the stimulants or the oxytocin for the stimulant drugs or the oxytocin is that oxytocin excites pregnant uterus so viewers if we just remember this mnemonic we can very easily make out as to what are the drugs what are going to act on the uterus as oxytocin where every initial letter of the oxytocin o excites e and pregnant p will refer to one of the drugs one of the classes of the compounds which are going to act as stimulants or oxytocin where o refers to the oxytocin the e refers to the ergot alkaloids and the p refers to the prostaglandins that to the ergot alkaloids the very famous and the very common examples include the ergometrine and the methyl ergometrine so viewers the the p of the pregnant refers to the prostaglandins so in this category we'll be having the two very famous examples that is the dinoprostone and the carboprost so this was one classes of the compound that is this was one classification one class from the classification the other classes of the compound or the next category which are going to act on the uterus are the relaxants or the tocolytic drugs so particularly the tocolytics or the relaxants can be better remembered if we just remember the the line that is the the mnemonic or the short trick what i have made over here is the that is magnesium blocks contractions of pregnant uterus where every initial letter that is m of the magnesium b of the blocks c of the contractions o of and p of the pregnant will refer to one of the classes of the compounds which are going to act as relaxants or tocolytics so viewers while having a look at these just we can very easily remember that is the magnesium blocks contractions magnesium blocks contractions of pregnant uterus we can very easily remember the classes of the drugs what are going to act on the uterus as relaxants or tocolytics so viewers the m of the magnesium the magnesium already have made the mnemonic that is magnesium blocks contractions of pregnant uterus so the second the magnesium is only making us remember about the drugs what are used is the magnesium sulfate which can be administered by the intravenous route and the magnesium gluconate which can be given orally now moving on to the b of the block that is the b of the block refers to beta 2 agonists now again i have just to easily remember as to what are the beta 2 agonists which are going to act as tocolytics 
that is the first choice tocolytics so here the mnemonic as to very easily remember as to what are the beta 2 agonist what are used as tocolytics i have made a mnemonic first that is f i r s t so by just by remembering the word first we can very easily remember the classes of the compounds which are going to act as beta 2 agonists or tocolytics as tocolytics on or relaxants on the uterus so the f of the first is going to refer to the phenoterol the i of the first refers to the isox suprine the r of the first refers to ritodrine the s of the first refers to salbutamol and the t of the first refers to terbutaline now moving on to already the two words i have covered that is magnesium blocks b of the block now moving on to the contractions of the pregnant uterus so c of the contraction refers to the calcium channel blockers what are used examples include very famous example that is nifedipine the o refers to the oxytocin antagonists and the very famous example of this class of compounds is a tosi ban now moving on to the p that is contractions of pregnant the p of the pregnant refers to the prostaglandin synthesis inhibitors so the very famous the very common examples of this category include the aspirin ibuprofen and the other nsaids so viewers this was my mnemonic or the short trick as to how we can very easily remember the drugs what are going to act on the uterus into two broad classes that is the first will comprise of the, the first will comprise of the stimulants or the oxytocics and the second are the relaxants or the tocolytics so viewers this was my analysis or the short trick as to how we can very easily remember the drugs what are going to act on the uterus so viewers if you do like my video don't forget to subscribe my channel and do press the bell icon so that you can be further updated about my newer videos thank you for watching